and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and Merry Christmas to you. Um, now, we had a request recently to um, explain the most recent diabolical Sudoku from the Daily Telegraph. These are, as Simon said before, pretty much the hardest puzzles that get published in broadsheets regularly in Britain. So they're tough. Um, and Simon asked me to have a go at it. Now, I think he's probably being a bit mischievous because he knows I'm not really expert at the kind of advanced techniques um, that he's been explaining, you know, uh, swordfishes and X-wings and XY-wings, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do is show you a way of going about the puzzle. Um, it is tough, but... This is one way of getting to the solution. And I mean, what I think this shows is you don't have to be too downhearted if the kind of advanced, what I call mathematical techniques aren't easily available to you all the time. So anyway, let's pick off the numbers that we can do. Eights are quite useful. So there's an eight in the first row and an eight in the third row. The only eight in the second row must be in that box there. And eight's coming down here, eight in column three and eight in column two. The eight in column one has to be in the bottom box and it has to be there because of that eight. Now, we don't know which of these two are an eight, so we'll just pencil them in. Now, three and one here, three and one here. Now, that's great because that's ruled out all of those five cells in that box. So three and one must be in these two. And I mean, that's a decent start straight away. We've got quite a few numbers in. Now, six is down here because that eight we put in six down here. The only six in column one must be here because of the six is above. Um, three, six, eight, nine. Okay, so that's nice too. Fours up here are, in, are either in that box or that box. But so are fives. As you can see, we have fours and fives in rows four and five, or uh, rows five and six already. So that fills that pair of cells with a pair. Nothing else can be in them. So one must be either there or there. <coughs> um, not quite sure what else we can deduce there. Three. Oh, yeah, three in row two and row three. Got to be in row one, box one. Can't be in the top cell because of that one. So that's quite useful. Either one of those two is a nine. Don't know which one. Ah, oh, we do know which one. Can't be. That nine is ruling out that one. So um, forget that. The nine must be there. Um, and now these two are another pair. In these two cells, we can't have 98316 from the row or 57 from the box. So they must be 2 and 4 in some order. And that's quite powerful. We now know that these three cells are 169. Um, and that's got to be useful, I think. Um, this cell here is 5 or 7, and so is this, but we don't know which way around yet. Ah, we do. This four up here, the four in the bottom left box, must be on the right-hand side of it in column three. And that's fixed this pair completely. Uh, sorry, that's not going to be five, that's going to be four. So, you know, decent progress. You're wondering at this stage, is this puzzle really diabolical? Maybe it's not, but... Um, now, nine has to be either there or there. Oh, sorry. Sometimes the click on Hadoku doesn't really work very, very well for me. So there we go, 80316. The four, though, it's similar to over this side where fours were ruled out from one box. That four is killing off those three cells, and that four rules out that cell. So four goes here, and that fixes the nine that we were just working on. Now we've got a pair of one, two over here. That means the other two cells in the box must be five, seven in some order. Um, and this one can't be a one because we know that one is there or there. So that's a two. That's the one, and that's the two. So again, great progress. Um, lots of the puzzle done. 
maybe now we're beginning to come to the sticking point. Not quite. Nine is ruling out those two cells in this box, and that nine is ruling out those two cells. So that's the only place for a nine. That fixes that as a nine. Nine must be in one of the rows in the center, uh, one of the cells in the central row in that box. Um, but now it starts to get a bit tough. Three is in one of those two because of that three. Four, we've done five and two are in that column, nine, eight, seven, one. Three must be in one of those two, but we don't know which one yet. <coughs> Now, what we do have at this point is um, this is quite a constrained row. Six, seven, eight, three, nine. That must be two or one. That must be two or four. In fact, five in this row can't be there because of that five, or there because of that five, or there because of that five. So five must be there. And this cell must be four or one. This one must be one or two. That one must be two or four. So there's only two combinations of those that can work together. And this is where it gets harder. Now, I mean, have a look at this grid. If you can spot where the next number goes, I think you're doing very well. I mean, I think we can tell that one of those two is a five. But if you can spot where the next full number goes, well done. But I'm going to show you, as I said, one method for deducing which one it is and what I'm going to do is focus on this cell here. In this cell there are only two possibilities. We've got 95431 in the box and we've got 26 in the row. So this is 8 or 7. <coughs> now I know that because I tried it when I was solving the puzzle myself that if you put in a 7 here it will work. So I'll show you why it doesn't work with an 8, and then we'll work back from that. So if you put an 8 in there, and Hadoku's already knows it can't be an 8, so it's showing it um, in a very light font. But what that does is it means um, that the only 7 in the middle row must now go here. That and that can't be 7 because of the 7 in the same box. So that becomes a 7. <coughs> that pushes the 3 down there. So that fixes the 1 in that box there. These two must now be 7 and 4. And the 7 is obviously there because of this 7. So that puts the 4 there. And that, as we said in this row, row 8, there was only one... There were only two possibilities, and once the four is there, that means that there's a two here. Uh, sorry, once the four is there, that means there's a two here, a one here. Um, and that's quite interesting because now this cell here has to be a two. Now, we know that two is, I, is in can't be in the central cell here because two is one of those two. So therefore, the two in the middle column would go here, and that combination of things would make this cell impossible. So if you were working through the puzzle on the assumption this was an eight, you've gone wrong here. This cell has no possibility now. It can't be three, six, eight, five, seven, four, nine from the box, and it can't be two or one from the row. So all of those numbers that we've put in were wrong, Almost certainly we're going to find that 412 is not the combination in that row. Um, and we just have to unwind what we did, thanks to Hadoku for keeping it in a separate font. And that 8 is in fact a 7. That was the other possibility. As I said, when I, when I had a go at the puzzle myself, that was what I tried and it worked. But we've seen a way, a reason to show that the other possibility doesn't work. And that's that's the key thing that you have to get to. Now, there may be a fancy X-wing technique or um, a swordfish or something that would have shown it to you. And feel free, if you can see that yourself, you know, you may have been studying Simon's videos very successfully and uh, 
you may have been able to spot it yourself, feel free to comment on what that actual um, X-Wing was in real life because, uh, or sorry, not X-Wing, but whatever technique got you to the solution. If you could see it logically, well done, you're, you're a better man than me and it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, that's how I do the puzzle, basically. If, if, if I can't find a way through, then I try things until something doesn't work. Now, you have to be very careful to always be trying something that's actually going to be helpful to pick a square where you think that if the first attempt doesn't work, then the other version will really help you. And I mean, that that's certainly a key. And it, it's a bit of a skill. It's a very hard one to teach, to be honest. Um, it comes with experience and knowing what puzzles look like, what kind of combinations together work nicely. Um, if you're in any doubt why I'm putting any of the numbers I'm putting in now, just pause the video um, before I put in the number and work out what the possibilities are because they've all been ruled out, basically, all the other possibilities. I'm not doing anything here which I think you would regard in any way as clever except for perhaps solving it when I'm still talking to you, which <laughs> it's not the world's simplest thing in my view. Um, so still only finding a few pairs here. Ah, oh, but we have now got the right fix for this row, and indeed it was different from the version that transpired when we put an 8 in that cell. So this is the way to finish it off, and... Uh, that's a Daily Telegraph Diabolical done, in a way. Now, I, I will understand if you're not impressed with that way. It's, it's a trial and error way, and that's not, that's not the most satisfying way for everybody to solve their Sudokus, but it's the way, as I say, that I get to the bottom of it. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's, always, it's been a pleasure all year talking to everybody out there, and feedback has been very kind thanks especially to those people who haven't said i would be the most boring dinner guest in the world i appreciate that one person did <laughs> they're probably right um but it's always been entertaining talking to you both about sudoku and crosswords and i certainly wish everybody a very merry christmas and a happy new year um, I'll hope to see you again before the new year anyway, and uh, probably talk about crosswords next time for a change. And do feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Buy some on a... No, no, you don't have to pay for it, but uh, get some on a subscription as a Christmas present. It's fun. Thanks very much for watching, um, and see you again on Crack of the Cryptic. Bye for now.